Hamburg has put together a motion to exclude Gary Shea's spouse. My arrest is Osborne's plan. I'm duty bound to give him the best defense possible. That doesn't make me a bad friend. You can't have it both ways. What's that? Divorce papers. She wants full custody. I don't want to see you again. Leah's laptop was found with your father copied the hard drive. Does someone else have a key to your place? What are you doing here? You have to use the anger and fear to fuel your passion to win this case. All right, Delilah fans, you just saw the preview for next week's episode airing April 13th. It is season one, episode six, entitled Basacha. I could be wrong about the you know way to say that word. I looked it up, but apparently it's the name of a dance, probably like, you know, um, Spanish or Latino dance. And I actually saw that on YouTube and I'm like, this probably has to do with Jamal because in the preview, there is a moment where her, I mean, Delilah and Jamal seem to be dancing together, so makes sense. But uh, there are just, there are some various things to talk about here. But before we go forward, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Hit the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post new content to the channel. And please hit subscribe to help me reach 200,000 subscribers. So I think for me, one of the most interesting things that stands out is how Apparently, Christine not only wants a divorce from Nate, but apparently wants full custody of their son, Dion, as well. Uh, it looks like Tamara is, well, for lack of a better phrase, drinking the Kool-Aid because she's at a dinner with her company. And, you know, they're laughing, having a good time. And apparently she has a plan that's going to be kind of a foolproof method of winning this case before there even is a case. And Delilah tries to call her out for the saying, look, look, it's like just because I'm working with him, it doesn't mean I'm a low down, dirty lawyer either. And she's like. We can't have this whole business thing as well as being friends. Basically telling Tamara, look, we, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's like you de you lie down with dogs, you're going to get up with fleas. So as it was mentioned towards the end of this week's episode, you know, there, there's kind of like a pause in their friendship. Like they're only going to be in a working relationship right now in regards to working versus on this case. And then once it's over... We'll see if we can go back to be being friends like there's no issue. But for now, you know, the gloves are off. And just based off Tamara's demeanor in the trailer, it seems like she's going in all guns a blazing. And we know how stubborn and determined uh, Delilah is. So she isn't going to be backing down anytime soon. Oh, it looks like Le Leah is going to be uh, confronted by, is it Fred? Um, the guy that is the one she allegedly had this affair. Well, no, she didn't allegedly. She had this affair with. So I wonder why he's going to her uh, apartment. I wonder what that encounter is going to be like. Um, you know, like I said earlier, we got Jamal and Delilah dancing. So it looks like they're going to have like another date. And apparently it was mentioned that Delilah's father, Wes, made a copy of the files on Leah's computer. So it's interesting to see what he has in store with that. Is this some undercover information or did he jack the information because of the fact that remember it was said that there was some tampering with evidence so did he did he do this himself and delilah got blamed for it i don't know but we know she gets out of jail because she says this whole arrest was nothing but a setup by osborne because there's this overarching plan that he has again never trust osborne if you read spider-man comics you know why and uh yeah that's honestly it i think harper's crying and you know, uh, Demetria looks uh, surprised. So there's going to be some interesting drama that goes on in the next episode. For me, I'm most excited to see uh, Christine filing for for, the, for, uh, for divorce and seeing what's going to happen with Dion and Nate's reaction to that. Not to mention Delilah. Hopefully she doesn't have a I told you show, so mentality because I do believe there is a blink and you miss a moment where Delilah is opening a door and Christine's on the other side of it. I think it's Christine and not the young girl that Gordon is going out with, I think. But let me know in the comments section below. But with that being said, are you excited for next week's episode? Um, I think episode seven or episode eight is like the finale. So, I mean, we're almost done with season one. Are you enjoying the season so far? And uh, with that being said, if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.